<clears throat> All right, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you very much for joining me. And I look so small, <laughs> look kind of smallish. Anyways, thank you, people. Um, we're going to discuss Kemar Roof. Um, as you guys can know, or um, if you guys know already, that Kemar Roof is on the verge of exiting um, Rangers Football Club. We're going to get to some more details about that, the places wherever it's going, and um, where it's currently linked to. At the present moment you'll be getting that information as well in this video so stick around to the end of the video you'll get all those details but you know we have our goal we have to set our goals and the main goal this time around is to hit 50k i'll say 50k subscriber by the end of the year is that possible i'm not sure the only way that is possible if you guys hit that subscribe button that is the only way Massive, massive respect to everyone you tuned in. And we're going to go straight to the story as it stands. Boom! So, Kemar Roof Rangers transfer exit. Latest as Se Sheffield Wednesday boss quizzed on possible soup. Not only that, I'm quite sure most of you would have already heard that Derby County is also one of those teams who is heavily interested in acquiring the Jamaican international. Let's get straight to the details. Let's read um some of the some some of, um what the article is saying um this article is done at a football scotland that um that c-o-u-k um Kemar roof rangers transfer exit latest as the sheffield wednesday boss um quizzled and possible soup now <clears throat> darren moore as you guys know former reggae boy darren moore refused to give such a so much away all right refused to give much away as he was asked and possible move for uh, for Jersey striker Kemar Roof. Um, let's let's read, let's continue. Sheffield with the boss Darren Moore was um had sidestep talk linking Rangers striker Kemar Roof with a move to the English League One side. Injury plague Roof bagged 16 goals for the Light Blues last season to help fire Gio Van Brankhorst's men to the Europa League and Scottish Cup final. The Jamaican international stepped up to the plate following a long-term injury. To Alfredo Morelos, but was cook was was crooked for much of the closing stages of the campaign. So he was he was on crutch. You know, most Jamaicans do say crutch. The twenty the twenty nine year old preseason preparation also have have also suffered a setback after he picked up a knock in training, which forced him to stay behind at the oh Arkin Howie while the first squad um, traveled to their summer camp. In the Al Algridge early this morning. No, um, surprisingly, he's not doing too well in regards to the, the injury situation that he's suffering, injury after injury. Um, I'm not really sure if this is something that would stay that he wants to move, but we're gonna read. We're gonna continue to read. Um. Okay, let me let me see where the rest of the detail. Roof hasn't been involved in any friendlies, including the recent match with West Ham and Tottenham on Spurs. The ex Leeds United frontman has been linked with a return down south with Owls and Derby County, as I just mentioned earlier. But when asked if he was planning a soup for the ex Anderlec forward, why do you keep on changing? Yes, ex uh, Anderlec, ex lead. Just say Roof. <laughs> Um, Hillsborough boss Moore told BBC Radio Sheffield, I can't be drawn into that because they are simply not our players to discuss about this. Discuss at this moment. At this moment. Hmm. At this moment. Hmm. Please keep that in mind. Um, he said it's uh, it's fine tuning at this stage and probably doing adding a little bit more depth. It is looking at the squad and bringing in different um different possibility possible dimensions to the team. That's um ultimately what we are looking at from here. <clears throat> Jers boss Van Brankhorst has already bolstered his front line this summer with the arrival of Antonio Conte, Robimon um, Matondo, and Tom Lawrence. Colombian hitman Morales is also expected to pin a new deal. After Van Brankhorst confirmed the club had very had held very possible and um, positive talk with his representative. So basically, all signs are pointing towards, I think that is it. All signs are part are pointing towards an exit for Kemar 
roof. That's what that's what everything is pointing towards. Um, an exit for Kemar Roof. But at this present moment, mm, last season he banged a total of 16 goals. And he had a, a troublesome season with injuries. Remember that he had an he had an injury whilst he was with the reggae boys. He ended up left one of the early, early one of the campaigns early to go forward um, for recovery with his club, and then he started start back playing football. Then he re- then he went on another injury again. But what I'm saying is this, people: if he bang 16 goals last season, if he was able to bang 16 goals last season in an injury prone season. Why would he make such a huge setback and go so deep into a lower division team? Because you know, um, let's 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 look let's look at this this way. Not saying that he shouldn't make the move, but what I'm saying is this, right? He's actually at a higher level than League One. I believe that he's a Premier League level player. He is a Premier League level player lowest championship i would say lowest championship but remember the last in last season europa league was vital this man is playing europa league helping rangers um challenge for the title banging 16 goals that's not easy um but going to um sheffield wednesday even though i count it would be a step back it would be a, a better acquisition for Sheffield Wednesday in acquiring a striker, a proven striker, someone who is guaranteed goals at that at specifically that specifically that level. He would possibly be the best striker. He would possibly be best striker in League One. And can possibly be, if he should go to the championship, one of the best, one of the best strikers in championship. As I said, he's a he's a he's a, he's a championship and above level type player, type striker. So you have to look at that. You most definitely have to look at that. Um, so that is it. We'll we'll keep you guys um on the progress of this um transfer news in regards to Kemal Roof. I'll keep you updated on that. I will see how this one progress. So until next time, people. Hope you guys smash the like button. Hopefully, you guys hit the like button. Derby County, the Owls, Sheffield Wednesday. Hopefully, you guys um smash the like button, people. I will keep you guys updated on this one. Until next time. MG Sports TV, Military Guna TV, people. We are out.